What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back. Last year Milwaukee introduced a new hole saw, the Milwaukee Adjustable Hole Cutters, and now they finally hit the market. These are designed for making holes into drywall and ceiling tiles to cover various different uses and installations. The biggest use I can think of for these would have to be for lighting, installing can lights, and various other uses such as home theater installations, making the hole cutouts for in-wall speakers, sprinkler system installations and ceiling boxes, and just about any other use for making large holes into drywall. These are very similar to regular hole saws when it comes to making holes, except you don't need a bunch of them if you're going to be working with various size holes. It can make holes as small as 2 inches and as big as 7 inches. So with one of these adjustable hole cutters, it can essentially replace an entire hole saw set. You can tell Milwaukee put a lot of thought and effort into designing these as they're very easy to use and set up and it's completely toolless to adjust the diameter of the hole being cut. To adjust the hole diameter, you remove the pilot bit by releasing it from the quick lock arbor with a simple pull on the sleeve and out it goes. From here you can adjust the two arms. You can slide them together for a smaller hole or further away from each other for larger holes. The adjustments are in quarter inch increments and getting them dialed in is foolproof as the arms have detents to get them just right. In the center on both sides you have a window indicator to show you the set hole diameter. The only thing you have to do on your end is to make sure they are both the same size on each arm. So if you want to make a 5 inch hole, make sure to set both arms to 5 inches. And once you've set both arms to the desired size, install the pilot bit back into the hole cutter assembly and secure it by locking it into the arbor. From here, now you're ready to make some holes. And like many other adjustable hole saws in the market, Milwaukee also includes a dust shroud to trap all the dust that falls so you don't make a mess. I remember a couple of years ago, I had to make a ton of holes into drywall, but because I didn't use one of these dust shrouds and I was working overhead, I ended up looking like the Mexican version of Casper the Ghost. Sure, I was wearing eye protection and a dust mask, but I still ended up with a ton of dust all over the place, which was no fun. So with one of these dust shrouds, you can avoid not only getting yourself from getting dirty, but you can also keep the workplace clean as well. Milwaukee used a sturdy dust shroud and what I like about it is that it's of a thick material and not cheap and flimsy like some of the others. Here's a package that it came with and believe it or not but some of the other dust shrouds on the market use thin plastic such as this and it can bend, crumble and crack easily. It also has a spring collar on the bottom so the dust shroud always has even pressure when making holes and it doesn't spin out of control when drilling a hole. So it's a very nice adjustable hole cutter with the quality we've all come to expect from Milwaukee and definitely worth checking out. I've seen it from a few